guys, I am Harry Potter YouTuber Victoria McLean and Daniel came up with like this really genius idea, right? He said, Mum, he said, I know people enjoy watching your videos, but they'd really enjoy to see what you do at the tour. So this is my personal guide to what I do at the tour and in the order we do it because I've got a few little secrets from getting tickets last minute to uh, getting the best places to eat at the right time. But I'm here for Hogwarts in the snow. I love it. There's Christmas trees and decorations everywhere. And the music is as magical as ever. So watch today while I show you my little secrets for the Harry Potter tour. So the first thing you're gonna do when you get to the tour is you will come to security. Now security are so lovely. Honestly, they cannot stop talking. They wanna know everything about you and they always want to wish you a happy time at the tour. But I would give yourself a, li a little bit a little bit of extra time to come through because if it's busy the queue does kind of zigzag around out there so what you want to do is you want to come a good 20 minutes half an hour early before your time going in so you can go through security okay so once you've done that then we make our way over to the cloakroom where you can leave all the items that you want to leave and you don't have to carry them around with you especially when you're like me where you bring Christmas presents for people and they don't want to carry them to the tour so what you want to do is you want to come over to the information desk which is right here by the entrance to the Harry Potter tour it is absolutely free to leave your items inside the cloakroom and they will look after them for you until it is time to collect them if you want to get a digital guide then your digital guides are right opposite it's so easy it's right in the middle and of course we have a beautiful Hogwarts in the snow display as well as your entrance if you're desperate to go to the toilet and you've had a really long journey here the toilets are literally next door they are situated just here for you so once we've done that that is exactly what we do when we walk through the doors we go through to the entrance hall let's play a little game of how many Christmas trees we can spot <laughs> one two and hello little dragon we have a ukrainian iron belly ready to greet you inside the atrium of the warner brothers studio tour watford london and it is snowing upon the banners how beautiful is that but they don't get snow because they're evil <laughs> another christmas tree there they always have the best displays and it's always of their new merchandise how stunning is that window display and we have another one over here as well near the tour entrance how beautiful is that that is absolutely stunning so what i will say is that you want to go to the tour shop first now the reason for this is because they don't tend to stack the shelves very much during the day because they're so busy they can't do everything so you want to make your way to the shop it generally opens about 10 o'clock but it, it did open a little bit earlier today so you want to go in the tour the tour shop before you go into the tour now the reason for this is as i said they're not brilliant at stacking shelves so we always go into the shop if there's stuff that we know we want that's new obviously for those of you who don't come here very often or haven't come here before then you definitely need to call in here beforehand there's another christmas tree there the shop is huge if you want to have a full tour of the shop then check out the link above because that is where you are going to find a full in-depth look at the shop and obviously that is like one of my favorite props in the entire world so you definitely need to go around and if you do end up buying a load of things don't worry about carrying it through the tour unless you want to carry your wand everything else can go back in the cloakroom it's not a problem and you can put it all together with the items you've already put in the cloakroom they are so brilliant and again it is all part of your tour price so you don't have to pay any extra to put your items in the cloakroom so I have just bought some something from the shop because there wasn't many of them so I am now going down to the cloakroom to put my items in there this is Carol's fault Carol and Maria's fault it's your fault that I bought this so this is exactly what I do I get the items because I'm not sure if they're going to be there when I go back and then I put it in the cloakroom so I don't have to carry it around hey lovely can I pop this in with hold on let me get on I've got a ticket I got a ticket I got a ticket can I pop it in with that one Thank you, lovely. Bye bye now. All done. And then I go back to find everybody. Ah. See, hands free.
free apart from my camera. <laughs> Now once we've had a lovely shop round, we've got the items we want, the shop is quiet, it's nice and tidy, and the shelves are full. We then make our way over to the Chocolate Frog Cafe. Look at the size of that tree, look at that tree. Just appreciate that amazing tree, it's stunning. Here we have one of our, this is actually our favorite area of the tour for food. I will explain this in more depth in a moment, as well as how to get your tickets last minute for the exact same price you would pay normally. No extra cost on top, they're there for the taking. So this is the Chocolate Frog Cafe. We always come here in the morning. This is where we stock up on tea, coffee, hot chocolate, a really lovely cookie or cake or two when they do themed cookies as well. So you definitely want to have as many as you can get. And if you can't eat them all, you will be packed. They'll be packed up. You can take them home with you and they will give you a lovely little cake box as well. So if you don't fancy any cakes first thing in the morning, by the way, that is where they do afternoon tea. How beautiful is that? Oh, another Christmas tree. It is definitely spot the Christmas tree time. This is the cafe, and this is the one that we always come to for food. We love the Backlot Cafe, but the choice is quite minimal there. So, they have a breakfast menu, which is obviously what you can see at the top there. Loaded breakfast muffins, blueberry and strawberry cream pancakes, butter beer pancakes. Oh my life, I may have to have them next time I'm here. I did say I want a wreath. I want a wreath, but they don't sell them. I'm really disappointed. So what we do is we always order, order our breakfast here and we come back here at lunchtime. And again, I will explain that in more depth afterwards. So once we've ordered our food, this is our area over here and we always sit together. And I will introduce you to everybody because there is a lot of us here today. We have so many of us. So this is the idiot table. So we have Emily, we have Jonathan, we have this weirdo here called Richard. <laughs> we have little Richard, we have Helena, we have other Richard, how many Richards are they? My God, there's too many. There's Janice, there's Harry, and there is the star of the show. No. <laughs> little Jensen, who is the youngest member of the Harry Potter group. Yeah! <laughs> We've got Maria dressed as Ginny, we have Carol, we have my baby girl Money Girl who's now finished on Game of Thrones, we're very sad. She's not. <laughs> and this is where we chill basically waiting for the rest of the group to come. My sister's on her way, her wife and their child as well so we're very excited about them coming. We're going to sit down and we're going to enjoy and then we'll, you can follow me for the rest of the tour. So this is the part now where we go into the... Hi. Hello. The mouth? No. Into the tour. We're going in. But it's a bit busy. It is a bit busy today. Hello. Hi. So they check your ticket. It's the last place they check your ticket and then you go into the tour. So it's normally quite quick. You don't have to go through here if you don't want to wait but you can ask a member of the team if they will escort you through this queue to the front but they will like to know why so if you have any sort of disabilities anxieties if you're in a wheelchair for I example have autism, so that's why you have learned autism stop being an so idiot. that is my excuse but if you struggle then they are more than happy to take you through to the front another way or you can miss this part directly. However, I would highly recommend you do go through this part because there's a lot of things that you won't actually get to see elsewhere. So they will take you through if you want to, but I would highly recommend you queue, okay? So watch this space. We'll get to the other side soon. <laughs> Okay. 
on the tour. Now I know it is very tempting to stand in that doorway and take photos, but please keep moving forward everyone, so all of you get to spend as long as possible in this amazing set. Now, my name is Daniel, and it is my pleasure to welcome you all here today. I have a question for you, and it might be a silly one, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Do we have any fans of Harry Potter here today? So we always spend time around the Great Hall. We love being in here. We have photographs down by the back where the Great Hall is. I will show you in a minute. If you feel like you don't get enough time here, you can come out of the Great Hall. You go behind this, this white line. You wait here in the doorway. And then once everybody comes in, you can go back into the Great Hall. So you don't have to come out and stay out. You can come back in. So I'm just waiting for the door to open the door so I can show you what it looks like when we go back in. So we tend to spend quite a lot of time here getting photos, making sure that we filmed everything. Obviously we know a lot of people that work here so we do spend a lot of time talking. Oh, well, that's the norm for us guys. We talk a lot here. Just in case you're not sure, we also have Archie the architect as well there, looking all Christmassy with his wreath down the bottom. Look at the candles, look at that. It's still on the sound stage for over 10 years. Let's have a look, see if everyone's in, see if the doors have opened. Yeah, there we are. So you can then come back in and do what you want to do and do all your stuff in the Great Hall if you forgot, if you didn't get a chance the first time. You can come in and out as many times as you like. And what's really nice is when everybody's in, you can go down the bottom where the Great Hall doors are, which is just there, and you can have a group photo with all the people you're with. But how beautiful does the Great Hall look? Doesn't it look stunning today? And then we are in this part of the tour. So we stay around here quite a while, talking to everybody and just really enjoying ourselves. And then I'll show you all the other secrets as well. After we have enjoyed ourselves on platform nine and three quarters, we then go for a quick stop in the cafe, the Backlot Cafe, where you can have butterbeer. I highly recommend the butterbeer ice cream for those who don't like butterbeer drink, because I'm not a massive fan of the drink. However, the butterbeer ice cream is to die for, okay? So we always get loads of that. So hopefully you guys get to try it when you come. It's not cheap and you can't get it without the souvenir cup, unfortunately. So you have to get the bowl, not cup, sorry, bowl. So you've got, now got to find someone, find everyone, because there is so many people here. We don't know where everyone is. Monica is now scouting. Oh, she's found them. Thank you. We've got to go find them now. So, but I highly recommend coming here for a quick drink. It is worth it. And this is the only part of the tour where you get to try the butterbeer ice cream and butterbeer. See, this is what happens when you're in the tour with your sister, right? <laughs> I, and then the dickhead Hello. then this side, yeah, isn't it? So yeah, well, this is what I was saying, the right? The tallest one here, by the way. Yeah, she's whatever. So, so she's never be she never behaves. You wouldn't think she was older than me. She's younger than me. Um, so what you do, right? One of the little sneak peeks. If you don't want to go to the cafe because it's incredibly busy, you ask an all right, darling. You ask an interactor kindly to take you through to the other cafe. Beg your pardon. What do you say to me? Um, you ask someone to take you through to the first cafe, they will gladly take you through. Obviously they'll ask how many people are in your party, then they take you through and then when you finish you're having your food in the first cafe you went to because there's way more choice, way more choice. You can't have a butterbeer or butterbeer ice cream there, however there's nothing stopping you going back later to have all of that when the queues died down a bit. I know this, Ron's being so rude to me right now. You wanna go? You wanna, you wanna go? I know, isn't it? He's perked up a little bit now because he's seen his Aunt Nudie. So we're currently waiting for the stragglers, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, but it's gonna be. Let's go today. Oh my God! Wait, 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 wait. The boy who lived come to die. Oh my God! He's being a dickhead. Right. <laughs> it's snowing! I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is snowing! Yay! 
It's so pretty. It's bloody cold. It is bloody cold. It's so cold. Our group is now suddenly like down to like four, five, five. So we're going to go in the warm now. We've had our ice cream. We're going in the warm. <laughs> I've never seen this before. They've got a snow graffiti picture. How fantastic is that? That must have taken so long to do. That is outstanding. So we are at the end of our tour. Somebody is very, very tired. I literally got stuff at the beginning. Stop it. Got his stuff at the beginning and he wanted to go in and get more. So show the bag, show the bag. So I will be doing an unbagging. There you go. There isn't it. much to unbag mine. I've only bought like a couple of things. I showed it. There but you go. Look at the size of this bag, it's tiny, I love it. His stuff, mine, my bag for his stuff, yeah. yeah so I really hope that this video has helped you with planning. Yeah. Shall I tell them how to get last minute tickets? Oh, go on then. So if you have a MasterCard, whether it's a card, debit card or credit card, you can go on MasterCard Priceless seven days before and you can get your tickets exactly the same way, but you do it through MasterCard and you get last minute tickets. I haven't told anybody that secret because I like having that for myself. They only do 20 tickets a day for each day. So if I wanted to come tomorrow, I could get tickets. So I hope you guys enjoy that little tip bit. So I will put the link down below, but you have to be able to watch this entire video to find out how to get that little tip bit. And that is a very important one. So are we going now? Yes, I'm tired. Yeah, we're tired. It's only like, what is it? Five o'clock? Yeah. So that's it. We're off. Are we? Yeah, I'm tired. We're going to go pick up our stuff from the cloakroom and we're going to go head home because he wants to go to bed early, which means I get to go to bed early. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below what did you think of this video. Until next time, take care. I love you all. Stay magical and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe